Hi, my name is Roxanne Wake Forbes. I'm the director for the Edward Gartland Youth Centre and psychologist and mother of a very active five-year-old son. Uh, today I'm going to be hopefully sharing with you some tips on how to take care of your little ones during these challenging times and I hope that they can be of some use to you, uh, if not all, but some. Uh, my first tip is to create a schedule. Create a structured day-to-day -day routine for you and your family. And this is from getting up in the morning, getting changed, brushing your teeth, having breakfast. Um, I also incorporate uh, some small chores uh, for my son, which includes keeping his room tidy, you know, making his bed, feeding the dogs, um, helping out with some of the basic chores around the house that he can. Giving them a, a level of responsibility is really, really uh, helpful during this time. And if you are able to, to do that, uh, you may find that uh, although initially they may be under your feet, um, but once they see that they can be helpful, it can be really, really useful to you. Remember that with this schedule, you, you don't have to follow it to the letter, but at the same time, it can be used um, flexibly just to keep you on course. I would encourage you to also to accept help from your family and your friends. Um, it may be difficult for you, um, you may feel that it's a burden, but know that we are all in this together and we all want to lend our support. Uh, one of the things um, as, a, as a mom that I have found is the outreach to other moms has been fantastic. Uh, to be able to link your child with a, a classmate using the social mediums, that has been absolutely fantastic. They're able to play, you're able to have some downtime. Um, it's a bit of a win-win. Also reaching out to your family and uh, some of your friends who may be able to do time on the iPad, uh, talking, reading a story, whatever it may be, that has been proven to be really, really helpful for me so that you can get a little bit of respite and uh, gather, excuse me, your sanity and just uh, be uh, the best that you can be. So utilize those uh, olive branches that are there. My third tip is to get outside. If you can, uh, get some fresh air, get some exercise. Uh, my son and I do activities together, um, whether it's from basic yoga to PE classes that are on the internet, to just sticking on some music and dancing around, burning some of that excess energy. Remember, your child is used to being at school, used to break times where they're running around all the time, and that's been removed. So utilize the times that you're allowed to, you know, based on the uh, restrictions from the government. Stay in your yard, do some star jumps, get them to run up and down, but do something it will help you, it will reduce your stress levels, it will burn some energy that they have, and it will help them to sleep better as well. Uh, when we're touching on that, uh, try to be nutritious within the foods that you're giving your child, knowing that the more sugar that you give your child, more than likely the more hyperactive your child is also going to be. So try to balance it out. It's difficult during these times, there's a lot of uncertainty, but do the best that you can. Um, as it relates to their diet and their level of uh, exercise intake. This is challenging times and there are going to be tantrums and there are going to be uh, moments where you don't hold it together as best as you can, but stick with it. Pick your battles. During these challenging times, reach out to, to those that love you and that are around you. Take a breath. You know, count to 10 in your head. Try not to be reactive, but try to be proactive, um, knowing that there are key times that your child may act out, you know, if they haven't had enough sleep, if they haven't had um, enough to eat. Try to be preemptive and use distraction tools to allow them to change the, the way that the day may go. Um, it's not easy. 
but use the tools that you have to help you through this. Um, my final tip is to take time for yourself. Um, we find that difficult in normal times, but it's really important that you sort of are able to do that during times like this. Yes, you may be on a, a lockdown or a curfew and be in within your, your, your home, but there are ways to find ways to take care of yourself, whether it's doing a hobby, uh, painting or gardening, but do something for yourself, reading, praying, all of those things are fundamental. So it may be that you only get the opportunity to do that once your child has gone to sleep, but do utilize it and use it. It is a way to help you rebuild and to get through the next day. I hope some of these tips are helpful to you. And if you have any questions, then please do reach out to Harvest Bible Chapel, Turks and Caicos, or leave a comment or a private message and we'll definitely get back to you. Take care, um, continue doing the amazing job that you're doing, and we will get through this together.